All right, guys, we're here at Locals again with uh, another player from FDB. He got top 16 at the ARG, but I just really wanted a match better deck profile, and this is for Konami format. And we're going to show his list for current up to date, and let's get into it. All right, so I'm going to the main board first. So first off is three raccoons. Of course, raccoons main search of the deck, so it's mandatory. Yeah. You see that uh, one, Miss Brown? Shout out to my boy Tony, Miss Pint Raccoon. No, no name. name. Right. Next, I play three fox. Fox searches out the trap card, which is the main engine of the deck. So, gotta play three. I play two crow. It searches out the spells. I only play two spells, so two. It, only two is needed, and it helps me with my rank four plays. You only need two Yadagarasu? Yeah. Uh, I play one unicorn. Uh, unicorn is just. I think it personally, I think unicorns do nuts in this deck. It's a power so, play. Yeah. Uh, and I play one cat to finish off the Magic Spectre side. Uh, cat is just a, a scar for the deck and it searches any Magic Spectre card. So if you got, if you start off rough and you got a cat, you just hope for the best. Uh, next we're going to go into the Performage. Oh, so it's got uh, the clowns. Yeah. Uh, I play three of the three of the snow cone guy All right he he just helps this deck a lot with the rank four plays the synergy and everything he's just I, yeah he's unbelievably yeah, good yeah that's 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 all i can say that's all i can say I play two of the mirror. The reason why I play two of the mirror is because it only helps when you're trying to run stuff over, and it it help it it sucks in the pendulum zone because it'll lock you out of your your three stars like raccoon or the cat. So I only play two because it's not really needed at three. Um, I play two damage juggler. Damage juggler helps you from stop getting from not getting OTK'd, and it also goes well with another tech card that I play for my trap lineup. So, you think you can play three of that card because it stops farm grow? I mean, if I play three, when I was playing, I tested it at three, but when it was at three, I would draw it more than my pendulums, and I, you just gotta draw the pendulums over the normal monsters. So, yeah. I play one Trick Clown and one Hat Tricker. Hat Tricker, you don't really need that extra special summon that much. And just like Damage Juggler, they'll clog if you play too much. So I only play, like, what, four normal monsters, not pendulums. So even playing this at the Trick Clown at two, I still clogged. So I had to drop it down. And I, need, and I wanted to play different names, so that's why I played one of each. For the last two monsters, I play three Drago Slayers. Best card of the deck. That card is too good. Yeah. Uh, enough. Yeah, it, best card of the deck. It's one of the most expensive supers we had in a long time. Yeah. So, I mean, the best the best combo with this deck is to have a Drago Slayer in your Pendulum Zone. And plus to have fire. a plus fire. Once you do that, then you more than likely have game with this deck. Last monster I play is two eccentric. Eccentric, she does it all. MST if you need it, or right geki. Or it just it just blows shit up. And it's a scale. Yeah. And it's and with eccentric, you can have eccentric and another pendulum scale to pendulum summon your unicorn if you need to. I play two MSTs. With MSTs, it helps me to advance my play. Let's say, like, if I need to blow up one of my pendulum scales, I, I could blow it up. Or the plus fire, if I need to blow it up to a special in search, it just helps. I play three wavering eyes. It's, wavering eyes are just the nuts in this deck. And broken in the mirror yeah. match. Especially in the mirror match when you when you're doing four, it's just it's just it's it's the bee's knees the bee's knees. I play one Raigeki because I couldn't play it in ARG, so I decided to play it in play it now because I could play Raigeki. Dweller Raigeki. Yeah.
and I played two Cyclones. This is the reason why I played two Crows, because I only played this card. What it does is I attribute one win spellcaster to destroy one card in the field. But it, the only bad part about this card is that it targets. That's the... If it didn't target, then it would have been way better. For the traps, I play three Tempest and two Tornado. Um, with Tempest, Tempest is, to me, the best card in the deck because it, it just it just blows stuff up. All right, like, stop summons. Yeah, with the Cosmos matchup, Cosmos is the hardest matchup for this deck. With Cosmos matchup, you just wait until they tag out and they just Tempest their effect after they banished themselves. So they're going to be down a monster and then you just pinch them something next turn to blow them out. With Tornado, Tornado at two instead of one because Yang Zings is still a deck and Tornado just blow them out of the water. You just banish their cards so that they can get destroyed and try to run, run into you or any of that craziness. I play one warning and one Stormy Mirror Force just to stop my opponents. I mean, Stormy, Stormy Mirror Force helps in the mirror match because it just blows all their monsters back to their hand and then you can just, it sets you up for OTKs. And warning for a lot of decks are pendulum summoning now, so you just you just warn in there, pendulum summon and blow them out. Uh, for my tech, I play two Horn of Heaven. Horn of Heaven in this deck is 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 just amazing because what you can what I also what I do a lot is I'll summon my damage juggler and I'll I'll swing from a damage juggler. Now set Horn of Heaven. When they summon Horn of Heaven, my damage juggler, and then my turn, I can get a plus fire, and then I just plus off of it. So it's really cool. With that, that's my main. Now I'm going to my extra deck. I played two Ignister, best best synchro by far. You know, you just blow one one of your pendulum cards to bounce one of theirs back to your deck. I play trampolines because Trampolings. all my mon yeah all my monsters are are spellcasters and it helps with OTKs. One emerald, uh, one of this guy, the paladin. He lets me search for a pendulum during the end phase when I summon, and he, I can also special a Drago Slayer for my deck. I play one Castell, one X Y Z, one Diamond Dire. Um, Acid Golem, Cowboy, and then I have the the Ptolemy's combo. And my last card is a best joy for my extra deck. You should play Lightning Cheetor. Yeah, I, I just don't have the card right now, so I can't find it. No one has it around here. So for my side, I got two Gats and Cyclones. It helps get rid of back rows, and back rows is the main problem in this deck. Outroll roll of the Kree, too. Yeah. I play two Mistaken Arrest just for the mirror match or for any random decks that search. I play two Pendulum and Pendulum for people signing against Pendulums. I, it helps protect my, my Pendulum zones. I play two Chivalry for the Cosmos matchup, Yang Zing matchup, or any of that craziness. I play wiretaps for the mirror match. Wiretaps helps you get out of sticky situations in a mirror match so that your pendulums don't get um, tempest. And I play three iron wall for the cosmos matchup. And Infernoids and all all them banishing. And my last card is Mr. P Mr. Silver Gnome. This helps in the mirror match or any rank 4 spam decks that's out now. Burn the Abyss, if they're still alive, that's nice. Anything that needs their levels, it's just gonna downgrade them. So that's it for the side. Um, if I was to make any changes, I'll just change 
my extra deck around. Probably add in uh, uh, what's that? Lightning Shidori or the Crab King. Deck. And that's that's basically it. Okay. The deck is pretty solid.